Hi, my name is Haley Melcher, and today I'm going to be talking about the book The Hate You Give, written by Angie Thomas. I personally learned a lot from this book, so I picked out three themes and decided to interpret them using artwork. So I hope you enjoy my video, and I'm going to be starting by talking about the plot. I'm going to be reading the plot of the book. Star Carter is a black teenager from a primarily black neighborhood, Garden Heights. Although she lives in Garden Heights, she attends a private school mostly made up of white people called Williamstown Prep. She constantly feels out of place in both of these environments. She either feels too poor and too black to attend Williamstown Prep, or she feels like an outcast in her black neighborhood. The problem first begins when Star is invited to a party with a girl named Kenya, someone who she shares a half-brother with. When Star goes into the party, she immediately feels out of place. Once they get into the party, Kenya leaves her side. So that leaves Star all alone. But eventually, Star's in luck because her best friend from when she was younger, Khalil, shows up and is able to talk to her and he's very happy to see her. Although they were happy to see each other and everything seemed back to normal, even though they haven't seen each other in years, a gang fight breaks out, so everyone at the party has to flee. Khalil and Star flee together and as they're fleeing, they get into a car and drive away. They reminisce on their old friend, Natasha, who was shot when she was younger. As they're driving away, they're pulled over for a white cop because his tail light is out. Although Star doesn't resist, Khalil appears to resist the police officer. The police officer is white and Star just remembers from her father's talk that she has to tell the officer that she is unarmed and that she needs to always remember the badge number of the police. She's always grown up to know that the police are not there to protect her. They're there to find a black person guilty no matter what. So Khalil is taken out of the car by the police officer and he is searched. And then the police officer goes back to the car and all Khalil was doing was trying to get into the car to see if Star was okay. During this process, the police officer assumed, wrongfully assumed, that he was grabbing a weapon to hurt the police officer. So the police officer shot at him multiple times, killing Khalil. Star, scarred by the situation, constantly wants to fight for justice for Khalil. This took a lot of bravery for her because she knew the police were not going to be on her side due to the, the color of her skin. So this story is really mainly about discrimination against black people, finding their identity, and also being brave during this time. As you may know, when I was reading this book, I picked out three themes, bravery and strength, healing and grieving, and blackness and identity. So I all portrayed them in artwork. So I drew three pieces of artwork. So I hope you enjoy, and these are my interpretations of each artwork. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you all today is these four strips of fingerprints that I made. So as you can see, they're all different colors, but even though they're all different colors, I know each fingerprint is different, but they all have the same fingerprints. And I just wanted to show that with having the same fingerprints, you bleed the same blood as people and you feel the same feelings as people and you have the same fingerprints as people, which kind of makes everyone all the same in a way. And I know not everyone's always gonna be exactly the same, but that's how we can treat each other equally. So what I, my takeaway from the identity and blackness is the book is that Star struggles to navigate the primarily black world of Garden Heights and the primarily white world of Williamstown Prep. She feels pulled between her Garden Heights personality and her Williamstown Prep personality, and she switches her speech mannerisms and behavior to fit whichever circumstance she eventually finds herself in. After Khalil's shooting, Star is reluctant to speak about his death for the fear that her friends from, Pre from Williamstown Prep, Haley and Maya, and her boyfriend Chris will not understand how everything is happening to her in Garden Heights. Star feels simultaneously too black to talk about Khalil's life and death with her friends, but too white at home to stand up for him especially after Kenya accused Star of acting like a white person who thinks of herself better than her neighbors. When she has that reputation on her, she feels immediately guilty and she honestly finds herself conflicted on what to do for Khalil's death.
My next name is Healing and Grieving. In the book, Star really didn't know how to deal with the death of Khalil. That was her best friend that saw her for who she really was and did not judge her for going to a private school, nor didn't judge her from neglecting her Garden Heights neighborhood. As a result of the violence they faced from those in power, the police officers, 115, who killed Khalil, the entire Garden Heights community must find ways to cope with Khalil's death. They really don't know how to because they just want to find justice for Khalil, but they, knew no, they know no matter what, they were going to lose against the police. They were constantly questioning Khalil's motives, even though he had nothing to do with the death of himself. He was not going to hurt anyone, and it was all the police's fault. And simply because of the color of the police officer's skin, that's how they got away with killing Khalil. So the whole community needs to find ways to fight for justice for Khalil and also learn how to heal and grieve for him too. So my last theme is bravery and strength. Star must be brave enough to stand up to an unjust society and explore, explore her own identity in a racist society that she lives in. The wave represents the unjust system that she lives in and then the mountain represents her because she stands her ground. And even though she goes through some struggles in the book, she finally finds her way and she's able to stand up for Khalil and avenge his death. 